Hello and welcome back to our next uh, demonstrational video for ViralWitch. In this uh, demo video I will show you how to create a new project for your Facebook page. Okay, so let's go uh, inside and see exactly what we have to do. Now as you can see here this is the main dashboard. We will have to go to the left side menu uh, to check out the project section. Okay, we have to click on the projects option here. We can see that we have absolutely no project found at the moment. You have seen in our previous video that we have added two new pages here. Let's select the Blitz Coffee one. Okay. And what we want to do right now is create a new project. Basically a new project or a project is a campaign of scheduled posts uh, for multiple days, right? So basically that's where you uh, make everything automatic for you, okay? That's where the, the easy part comes in. So what we want to do right now is press the create new project button. And here is the canvas for creating the new project, right? <clears throat> so we have the selected page, the Blitz Coffee. We give the project a name. This is our test one project. Uh, we can give the project a description. It supports spin text. Basically in spin text, if you don't know, you just have to add a vertical bar uh, between phrases that you want your spinner basically to spin between them. For example, let me just give you an example here. Uh, let me just test something. Test two, then we add an vertical bar test three then we add another vertical bar test four right so what will basically the integrated spinner do is will spin all of these words okay which uh, are delimited by the vertical bar it will spin between them okay so all the time it will create like an original text or an original description between all of, uh, all of these text variations that are delimited by the vertical bar so that's what a spinner text does it's not uh, maybe as useful for a project description because that's more interesting for you but it will be very useful uh, for the posts descriptions that you will have for your image post video post articles and so on because it will create an original text all the time okay from the same text that you have it will create an original one now let's create uh, select the type of content that you want for your new project so Maybe you want to create video texts, uh, video posts, maybe you want to create image posts, maybe you want to create text posts or article posts. We have all of these options. You just have to uh, click on the drop down menu. You also have uh, original content if you want to create your original content or animated GIFs, which are actually pretty cool. And let's say that we want to <clears throat> animated GIFs, right? We click on the start date of the project. So when we want the campaign to start, the automatic post to start let's say that we want saturday okay then we select the end date uh, so it's on 16 17 18 19 20 so we have five days and we have to select a posting time now for most of you who already have experience with facebook marketing you know that there is a specific uh, time in the day when your users or followers are more active, more attentive, okay? And uh, when your posts get the most engagement. Now that would be ideal for you, okay, to select as a time for posting, obviously, right? <clears throat> but I will just select randomly 10 and 20 <clears throat> every day, right? Let me just select again. And we have to press the check button, check mark here. And that's it, okay? Now what you want to do is click on the create project button and your new project has been created successfully, right? Now what you want to do is go ahead in the edit project section, if you want to edit it, and if you want to edit the name, if you want to edit the description, you can just do it here, okay? Then you just press create project and it will save it uh, with the new uh, with the new alterations that you have added. So this is how you create a new project. Now, thank you very much for watching. In the next video, I will uh, I will show you exactly how to create the animated GIFs, the video content, uh, basically how to create the post that you want to integrate in your projects. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.